the Supreme Court ruled 6-3 to three in favor of Joseph Fisher, a former police officer involved in the January 6th Capitol riot, challenging his obstruction charge. This decision, which also impacts charges against former President Donald Trump, clarifies that the law in question, part of the Sarbanes-Oxley Act, was intended for cases involving evidence tampering, not broader situations as previously interpreted by prosecutors. Chief Justice John Roberts stated that the government's interpretation was overly broad, potentially criminalizing routine activities. Attorney General Merrick Garland expressed disappointment, noting potential implications for ongoing January 6th prosecutions, although he emphasized that most cases remain unaffected. Trump praised the ruling, asserting it was a just decision for those facing similar charges. Fisher, who was previously a police officer, had been part of the crowd that breached the Capitol. And his case now returns to lower courts for further proceedings under this new interpretation of the law.